O Lord, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter of St. James. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of the perseverance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, because the Lord is compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath, but let your yes mean yes and your no mean no, that you may not incur condemnation. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and Jesus came into the district of Judea and across the Jordan. 
Again, crowds gathered around him in, as he was, was his custom. He began again to teach them. The Pharisees approached him and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them and replied, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. It is one of the difficult sayings in the Gospel that we hear from Mark, but the root of it is from what the Lord has brought to us, what God has joined to us in that great sacrament of matrimony, that what it includes is so much, what it excludes is very little. It includes that giving of oneself fully to another person, giving all aspects of yourself to that person, and that person giving all aspects of their self to you in that way of love and in that way of self-donation. And it's wonderful to see that the Lord has given us that chance to say that how I love you is how you might find the love of a spouse, for our Lord did not neglect to give anything of himself to us, even his own body and blood that we receive in the sacraments. And because of that, there is that great stance on marriage, because of that great aspect of giving completely to one and receiving from the other. It is a great reminder that as one is given completely, it is not the idea that one can be satisfied in that spiritual way too, because we still need God in that relationship. We still need the Lord to be there, to strengthen and to build up what might be lacking in our humanity, as well as to build up our relationship to see that love flowing out so that it can flow toward the Lord and come from the Lord as well. My dear sisters and brothers, let's continually ask the Lord's guidance in those difficult teachings that we might face. That the Lord might give us that grace to say yes and to follow what the Lord taught. So that through that we might grow closer and closer to our neighbor and closer to the Lord right now, today, tomorrow, and always. By our sisters and brothers, attentive to the wisdom of Jesus, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the Church may encourage and support those married in the household of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord that those married for many years may be guides to those just beginning life together, we pray to the Lord. Lord that couples pondering divorce may find compassion and care among the baptized, we pray to the Lord. Lord that victims of domestic violence may find refuge and protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick may find companionship as they pray for help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, that families touched by divorce may find stability and comfort in sorrow, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let us pray for Andrew Renzel and for Marge and Bill Fuey Tetera. Fuet Terror. We pray to the Lord. Pray for Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, and self control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For 
For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Source of wisdom, your words are spirit and life. Open our hearts to the deep meaning of the gospel, that we may apply it with compassion and care. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the show some water and wine. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people, he stretched out his hands, he endured his passion. So as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we have claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my breath, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming into this world. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is in. Let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of the world, of our community. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Do us pray the prayer for our mother of mothers. Mother of mothers, holy queen, Chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified this state of holy mother, imploring thee, I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in thee I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Mother of Mothers, pray for us. 